Hello and welcome to the Young Author Pod and today we will discuss about the radiographic signs of developmental dysplasia of hip in an infant. X-rays of infants are difficult to interpret because the acetabulum and the femoral head are mostly cartilaginous and therefore not visible on plain X-ray. The X-ray examination is more useful in older infants. Several classic lines on the X-ray of immature pelvis guide the assessment of developmental dysplasia of the hip. The hilgen renus line is a line joining the two triradiate cartilages. Perkins line is drawn at the lateral margin of the acetabulum and is perpendicular to the Hilgen Renus line. In a normal hip, the femoral capital epiphysis and the medial beak of femoral metaphysis lies in the lower medial quadrant produced by the intersection of Perkins and Hilgen Renus lines. The Shenton's line is a curved line that begins at the lesser trochanter, goes up to the femoral neck and connects to a line along the inner margin of the pubis. Shenton's line is a smooth line in normal hip. This line is non-continuous when the affected hip is subluxated or dislocated. The acetabular index is an angle formed by intersection of Hilgen Renus line and the line drawn along the acetabular surface. This angle changes as the infant grows. The normal upper limit of the acetabular index is approximately 30 degrees. Any significant increase in this measurement may be a sign of acetabular dysplasia. Radiographs are the modality of choice in older infants for both diagnosis and follow-up of developmental dysplasia of the hip. In a dislocated hip, the femoral metaphysis lies lateral to the Perkins line and Shenton's line is broken. Other signs of the DDH include lateral displacement of the femoral head and the medial gap between medial border of the metaphysis of femur and the acetabular teardrop is increased. The capital epiphyseal dysplasia is seen as delayed appearance of center of ossification of femoral head. Usually the femoral head ossification begins to show between 4 and 6 months of age. Hypoplasia of the pelvis, mainly the ileum bone may be present. Delayed fusion of the ischiopubic junction may be noticed and the affected lower extremity might be in adduction attitude. So this was a really quick idea of radiographic assessment of dysplastic hip in an infant. If you want more such videos, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. We will be back with another video in orthopedics. See you soon.